And give me an update on how contentious this is and people are asking for him to resign already. Yeah, the Democrats are clamoring for him to resign, saying he was not truthful during his Senate confirmation hearings when he was asked specific questions about this. Um, you know, he said he'd had no contact with the Russians. It now appears that he had met with the Russian ambassador twice in July and September. Um, but he's saying it was part of his routine meetings with ambassadors, uh, in, given his role on the Senate Armed Services Committee. Um, you know, I look at this last night, Stephanie, and again, for our global audience, the uproar on this in the United States is tangible. And I know we got Speaker Pelosi and I got Senator Warren coming out. You've got to resign. I mean, all the usual predictable garbage. What this really comes down to, Stephanie, is this guy going to be in the process of investigation? Is the attorney general, who's usually a pinata in America, are they going to be in the process? What is your take on whether he will recuse himself from any of these investigations? I think this makes it very likely he'll have to recuse himself, that he's, he's compromised his uh, ability to distance himself from this investigation, and that there'll be serious calls from particularly Democrats and some Republicans. Um, you know, we saw Lindsey Graham say something along the same lines, that it may be perfectly innocent, but um, there's certain, certainly yeah. need to know more information on this uh, and that he may need to recuse himself.